Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Breezy, exercise physiologist, wellness coach, and founder of State of the Heart Fitness, and I'm here at the Lowe's Santa Monica Beach Hotel, home of State of the Heart Fitness, to talk to you about something that is very near and dear to me, and I am really excited to share. It's a new online eight-week course called From Head to Heart, Finding Your Health and Happiness Through the Heart-Centered Space. Now, State of the Heart Fitness is all about the heart, not just the physical heart, but the emotional and spiritual heart as well. In all the years that I've been coaching people through healthy lifestyle change, as well as my own personal journey, I have discovered that most of the time in our society, we are taught to live from our head. Now, what does it mean to live from our head? It means that we live very logically, very linearly. Uh, we play it safe. We don't venture too far beyond our comfort zone, beyond the known. And that's all well and good, except that it doesn't really bring us that much joy, uh, that much fulfillment, uh, and it also affects our health and well-being. So I'm a firm believer, hence the name of my business, State of the Heart Fitness, that we have to drop into our heart. We have to connect to our heart. And what does it mean to connect from our heart? It means to connect with our soul, to our spirit, to our joys, to our desires, to our dreams, to our passions. Doing what feels nurturing and uplifting to our soul. Joy has so much more of a, a factor on our health and well-being than almost anything in this life. And in this course, I am going to be talking about the body, mind, emotions, spirit, how it is all interconnected. You know, most of the time, what I find is most people are very disconnected from their hearts, but also their body. Even athletes are not always connected to their body. You know, uh, we're not always taught to love and honor uh, our body, to respect our body. We use it and abuse it. We, we take it for granted. We take advantage that it's so amazingly resilient until it's not. And so this course is really exploring uh, loving and honoring our, our body, looking at our thoughts, our beliefs, how they are getting in the way, keeping us stuck in patterns that no longer serve us, and also our emotions. How do our emotions and suppressed emotions affect our health and well-being as well as our spirit, of course. So I hope you can join me April 11th, Head to Heart, Finding Your Health and Happiness Through a Heart-Centered Space. I would love to have you. Let's do it. What is the state of your heart?